All new Greenville County Schools released its much anticipated final plan for in person instruction for the fall 2020 and it's a little confusing. They're creating a flex learning plan where students can opt to attend classes in person anywhere from no days to five days per week. The district says they believe it's the best possible plan to be able to adapt to changing health concerns, but some parents are still skeptical after seeing this thing and hearing about it. Matt Koufax live at the district office, and I'll tell you, Matt, just from talking about this at four and five, it's a little confusing. Yeah, Cody, and we're trying to decipher it for you folks at home as best as possible tonight. The district does say that in an ideal world, they will have students in class in physical buildings five days a week. At least that's what they're shooting for. But with the potential of a second wave on the rise, they are also trying to shore up any loose ends possible. Tim Waller with Greenville County School says much like a lot of the parents they surveyed, the district wants full steam ahead. We're going to start off with the default setting of kids in school five days a week. But that could change on a dime. A status update from DHEC and from the State Department of Education might affect students' schedules. Under the district's plan, students at every school will be assigned a color depending on where the first letter of their last name falls in the alphabet. No matter what grade a child is in, uh, they will join uh, a, a color group of, of red, blue, green, and purple. On days where there is low spread of coronavirus, all color groups will attend all days. But if there is higher spread in accordance with DHEC guidelines, students in certain groups may attend one or two alternating days that week. For the rest of the time, they'll e-learn. We might see a week where there is a very high teacher absentee rate or a very high student absentee rate. For example, if two days Days of in-person instruction are allowed for each student in a week. Students with last names A through K in blue and red groups will go Monday and Wednesday. Students with last names L through Z in green and purple Tuesday and Thursday. Parents like Jennifer Black say they're still skeptical. The concern that I have is, is that kids need consistency and I think we're going to have a year full of very anxious kids. She's already thinking of when her kids won't physically be in school and she'll be working. We're going to have to find some sort of child care. Waller says e-learning that kids get when they're not allowed in buildings will be improved from last term. It's going to be similar but it will be different. And finally the district will have more information on protective measures to come. We hope to announce our mask policy if you will in the next few days. Waller says the district will likely mandate that its teachers wear masks, but will give parents the option as to whether they want to outfit their children with PPE. In Greenville tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina V, 10 o'clock news.